We had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Um, we're going to be talking about a shade range that has exploded all over the internet. There is some tea, honey. So you guys saw the title. You saw what's about to go down in today's video. So we are, of course, going to test out the new Beauty Blender Foundation. This picture came up and the internet went berserk. Now, if we look on the bottom row, of course, the lighting is a little weird in this picture and everyone is going in, like that middle bottom girl. Did Donald Trump get his own foundation? So a lot of people were like, huh? Like this, honey? What is it? What is going on here? And of course, your eye immediately goes to the whole top and middle row looking like identical. It looks like a whole, a whole lot of shades of beige, honey. And she had she got the foundations just like I got them in the PR kit and she laid them all out. Now of course the orange tones that were up here are not as orange as you see them in I guess real lighting. And when you zoom in, what do you guys think? To me there still seems to be a lot lacking over here and a lot of the same shades here. This picture hit the internet last week and it was announced that Tarte was putting out a brand new foundation to go along with their famous Shape Tape Concealer. So, if you have not seen this, this um, was going around online and is basically showcasing Tarte's shade range for their new foundation. So I sat here and I was like, crickets. That's what I, that's what happened. So. Let's have a conversation, you guys. If a brand does not have a big shade range, why bother? And I know there's a lot of opinions about this, but girl, here's mine. If you cannot create a all-inclusive shade range, why is the product even being put out? There was a lot of controversy that went down with this, and I am just kind of a little shocked and horrified when I saw the swatches. It looked like they had 50 shades of white, and then like two shades for women of color. And I'm, it's not acceptable. It is literally 2018. So I know a lot of people have done videos on this foundation already. It's just hit the market, but I have a few more words to say. What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Today I am so excited to talk about a collaboration that has been in the works for months and it's finally about to see the light of day. We are going to talk about the Jouer Cosmetics Jeffree Star collaboration. Are women of color an afterthought to Tarte? Are they not good enough? So you, you gotta wait to get your shade later. I just couldn't imagine being excited for a release. Now that and you can't find your color and it really does not exist. I mean, to me, foundation should go from A to Z. Tarte did like A to M, skipped a whole bunch and then did like U, Z, and that's about it. So to me, it just felt like, okay, why would you have to put out darker shades later? So only white people get to buy your shit first and then everyone is like an afterthought? It, it blows my mind.
fact that you watch drama channels explains who you are as a person to me very quickly. Okay, Gucci, calm down. More than just self-promotion, whatever. Maybe when I get older. <laughs> you're like, ah, here, Somalians, you can have yeah. some money. All right, then. I just didn't know if you had like a grander plan in mind where later down the line you were like, well, I'm going to help some motherfuckers out. Yeah. Free makeup for the children, something. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to fly to Africa maybe next year and do makeup for everyone. Yeah, because that's what they need. <laughs> you know, they don't need food or water, Whatever. you know, health care. They just need to look pretty. Yeah, well, I think okay. so, right? Sure. A little glitter on their that's big cool. bellies. Yeah. No, it's... <laughs>